Hey everybody, it's KJ from Metro Hobbies and this is a new, what's new news segment. So it's not very much going on here. Um, I'm just going to show you a few board games that have just come in that are new for us and I'm going to give you an idea of what kind of board game they are and who they're for. So we're going to start off really small. I've got this one which is a trick taking game, very popular just at the end of the last year. It's very hard to get a hold of called Spicy. It's got some really cool little artwork going on here. Um, it's a little bit along the same lines as your classic cheat game where you're trying to like bluff your way through um, and uh, you've got to be careful not to be too spicy or you might actually get caught out and having to pick up all those cards. Another small game that we have just come in, it's Exploding Minions. And who doesn't love a minion? They're exploding out of every kind of um, scene in all toy stores and all game stores. This is being brought to us by the same people that does the Exploding um, Kittens, which is a very fun game um, where you're trying to avoid bombs. This is a similar thing, but you've got your minions. Okay, very, very cool for ages seven up. Nice little family level game, same with this one. We've also got some really cool games in. Now this one's from Awakening Realms. They do big story immersive board games with lots of miniatures ready for you to paint. This is called Nemesis. It is very much along the lines. It's got that same sort of theme as Alien where you're escaping. Um, I'm gonna show you the back so you can have a look at just how many miniatures they have in here. There's 26 high quality miniatures. Awakening Realms is very high quality games. They are very, very immersive. They go through a book of stories that you're trying to uncover. It's very much, Along, similar along the lines of choose your own adventure, your choices in this game matter as to how you go through it and whether you actually survive the game. Um, it can be played just by a solo or it can be played cooperative. Um, and obviously there's lots of great miniatures in there for you to paint. This is, this is one of the, the, those must haves um, that came out of last year. And uh, moving on to the next one. For all you Star Wars fans, Star Wars Legion. Now this is more of a tabletop miniatures game. So rather than having a board, you're actually having to build all your figures. You can actually get more and build up your army. So there are accessories that can, you can get with this. This is the Clone Wars version. Um, and so here you, you get inside here a bunch of sprues, your classic sort of plastic model kit style. Uh, and you'll put them together, you'll paint them up. Um, and then you'll, what you've got in here is enough to get started and get a taste for the game. And if you really want this game, you're gonna start to get your, your army built up, paint it all up, measure out your distances to where an, uh, um, whether the fire shot will, uh, will hit or not. Um, and I just like that this comes with General Grievous. That's great. Who doesn't want four lightsabers? All right. Another game. Big strategy game. Very, very popular game. It's just been reprinted. It's been... Um, not out of print. Oh, maybe it's been out of print, but it's just been reprinted. It's a very, very, very popular game. It's for 14 up. So this is more your older teenagers or your board game um, strategy players. This comes with, um, it's an area control game. So you're trying to control areas. You have cards to do so. You have like little tiles that you build up and it comes with miniatures. So you can paint these guys and you can have your little scorpion army and you can recruit your monsters. Big reviews in this one. Great game. Pick it up while you can. Final one, it's the newest one, Sleeping Gods. Um, and this is probably a little bit more friendly for a, a wider audience. It says 13 plus, you might be able to get a 10 year old depending on the 10 year old. Uh, it's a two to four player. Uh, it is a cooperative game and this is very much a storytelling game. And I'll give you an idea. I can't show you too much about this game because a lot of it is it folds unfolds as you play it. So the game rules are uh, fairly simple, but you play and investigate different parts and your board is actually inside a book. So there's a book that has the story in it and you use cards to build up characters and those characters have special skills in order for you to do, if anyone's played a role-playing game, side quests. So you've got lots of side quests to explore. Um, this game can go for one hour to 20 hours and you wouldn't do that all in once. You would do bits of it. It has a save system in it so you can pack it back all up and then take it out again and you have that big storytelling time either with your friends or your family. Um, this is designed by the same person who does the artwork, Ryan Lockett. And that has pretty much all the board games we've just got in right now. It's very, very exciting to have such fancy games available in store that include really cool miniatures. But obviously we're not forgetting about those quick minute, five minute um, card games that we need as well. And that's everything today, guys. Until next time.